Today we're going to talk about the earnest money deposit. So this is a deposit that you put to make the contracts valid. You need a transfer of funds in order for the contracts to be valid. Um, so the purchase and sales agreement is the one between you and the homeowner. Um, and when you put the earnest money deposit, it is always going to be refundable. Um, and it can be as little as a dollar, it can be a hundred dollars, it can be a thousand dollars. But the reason it's refundable is that if anything happens, it's returned to you. And then sometimes the homeowner will be like, well, where's my deposit? And you can always say it's held in escrow until closing. So you never give it to him up front. You just wait and send it to title. Um, for the assignment agreement, so this is the contract between you and your end buyer, you make the deposit non-refundable. That makes sure that if they don't close, if they cancel on you, you get that deposit. And this can be as high as 1000 5000 10000 So make sure you know the difference between refundable, non-refundable, and make sure the amounts are correct.